Hi everyone, hope for the case. So today I thought I'd film a Primark haul. It's only a very mini one because I haven't I only did a collective haul about a week ago and this one is just from yesterday and some things that I bought but I thought I would show you them all because there is a couple of things that I think you might like and I know with Primark they get their stuff in and out of store like really really quickly so for example if you see something it might not be there in two weeks time so I thought I would do it today everything's recent everything should be in store still and then I've also got a mini Debenhams haul because I had a Debenhams voucher which I spent yesterday too so I also thought I would show you what I bought from Debenhams and hopefully you will like it so I'm going to start with a Primark haul also little note I know that it annoys some of you when I say kind of slash kinda so I'm trying really really hard to not say either of those words I never realized that I said them so much so I kind of have to think oh, I just said it then damn it I'm having to think before I speak so it's really hard so yeah sorry if I do say it a lot I really don't mean to say it okay so let's start um first of all I went to Primark it's always the way you go in you want to just get a couple of things and then you end up spending about 20 30 pounds and you're like how did I do that? It's like one of those stores that just entices you and you want everything. And uh, to be honest, I do go through stages, I will walk around Primark and I'll think there is nothing here that I like or that I want. Other times, like yesterday, I will walk around and think there is loads of things that I want. So, like I said, there's loads of nice things in there at the moment, definitely worth checking out. Um, they've got some really nice holiday clothes, they've got some really nice kind of pretty blouses. Definitely, definitely worth checking out. So the first thing that I bought was this really cute um, white blousey t-shirt thing and it's got a really, really cute kind of Peter Pan uh, collar with little pearls in and they had this in black with a white collar and then the white and black one and usually I always go for like the black version because I think that black looks more classy but I actually tried the white one on and I thought it looked really nice so I really like it and I thought it will look good with like shorts, it will look good with jeans, it will look with, good with so many different things and I thought that white always looks really good with a tan so it will be good on holiday and I really like the collar, let me just, there you go, I really like the collar, I thought that was really cute, it's like a Peter Pan collar um, but it's like a little bit different, so yeah I really like that but that was £12 and to be honest it's really nicely made it's really pretty, I haven't seen anything like this on the high street, so yeah, it's a really good buy. Next, something that you, this is kind of also why I wanted to do this video, because this is something that I went to Primark specifically for, that you'd all requested for me to go and buy. In my collective haul video, I showed you a Miss Selfridge play suit that I have, and it's got a massive hole in the back, so I was like, right, how am I supposed to wear a bra with this thing because I didn't want my bra to be showing I think didn't really want that I didn't want to go braless so loads and loads of you literally every second comment said go and buy a bandu I think that's how you say it bandu bando you know what I mean from Primark and I thought to myself oh my god I'm such an idiot I've seen these and walked past these so many times and I can't believe that I didn't think of getting one of these before so I got two the first one that I got is this um, what's the colour? It's called orange, but to me it looks more like kind of a neon coral. And I just thought this would look really nice kind of under the play suit. The play suit's got, already got really bright colours, so I thought this would work really well with it. And I also thought that this would make my back look really tan, because neon is great for making you look like you're tanned. So yeah, I really, I really like that. And these were £3. And then I got a black one, because... A few of you commented saying that black, like a black bra or a black bandu, whatever you call it, looks really good under the play suit. So I thought I'd get a black one too if I didn't want to wear it as bright. And I just thought with a black one I can wear it under like sheer blouses. Um, I won't need to wear a vest. I can wear it on holiday under like sheer stuff. I can just wear it to the beach again. So yeah, I just thought black would be really handy and again, it was only £3. Okay, so next, um... I'm only going to show these briefly because I feel a bit weird about showing underwear that I've bought on the internet. So, um, I just bought a kind of coral bra and pants set from Primark because um, I personally think their underwear is absolutely brilliant. I think it's great for girls that don't have a really big chest. It's really cheap. 
there's loads of different colours and kind of styles that you can choose from. So um, yeah, I really love Primark for underwear and in my coral neon lace dress that I showed in my last haul video, I, um, I don't think I did say, but I wanted an underwear set to match that. So I found that on Primark and it's a pretty good match. So yeah, I got that. So I bought these really cute kind of, oh, I keep saying it, sorry. Um, like almost, I think they're quite Pandora inspired because Pandora have released rings like this lately with like the moonstones. So it's like a collection of, how many is it? Five. Five different rings and they come in an assortment of colours and there's a pastel version which is this one here and then I'm going to put the bright version on my other hand. I kind of had to get both because I just thought they were really really cute and I knew that I'd wear. So that's the bright version. So pastel and brights there and I really like them because like I said they are kind of Pandora um, inspired. Pandora I think that I'd say they're a Pandora inspired and there's a kind of a lot of um, pricey jewellery rings that look like this at the moment and I thought they were really cute. I haven't got any rings like this um, and they look really nice like on your thumb and you can also, they did come with like a little band, almost like a little staple which I kind of um, um, pulled so I could have them all separately so for example I could wear them on different fingers or just wear two at a time. I just thought they were really cute and I really like both the colours, I both I love the pastel ones and I love the bright ones too, so they were both £2 each. And the last thing that I bought from Primark, now I've got some sad news for you guys, um, it's not that sad but it's sad to me, the pink play suit that I bought in the collective haul with the pink shorts and the white kind of collared top, I had to take back, so anyways I went to take it back and I found this play suit and it fits a hundred times better. In fact, I don't, I don't know, I do love it. I don't know if I love it as much as the pink shorts, but I still love this. And I think that this probably would be more versatile because the other one I couldn't really wear in the winter, but this one I know I can wear with like tights and stuff. And this is it. It is a navy lace play suit. And it has a white, not kind of, oh, I said kind of again, damn it. Um, not a Peter Pan collar. Just, just a white collar and I saw it and I kind of fell in love with it. I've said kind of again, ah oh, this is so hard. Um, yeah so I saw it and I just thought wow. I kind of just, <sighs> I thought to myself this play suit is right up my street, it's lace, it's navy, it's got a collar. I was like wow. It was £16 so it was £1 more than the one with the pink shorts. But I think it is worth that extra pound. This is so well made. It feels really, like really, really well made. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. So yeah, I absolutely love this. It's so me. When I saw it, I was like, oh my god, I have to get that. So yeah, I absolutely love it. It's got a zip down the back, which is, as you can see there, it's concealed. So that's pretty cool. And it's like, it's even, it's really nice lace. It's not cheap lace. It looks, to me, I think you could buy this from River Island or Topshop, like, no one would ever know it. So that's the end of my play, my play suit haul, my Primark haul. Now to move on to the mini Debenhams haul. So I went to Debenhams because I went to their press day um, about a few weeks ago now, and they really genuinely, genu I can't talk today, they genuinely, why can't I say that word? They gave me a voucher basically. And we could spend on designer at Debenhams, Debenhams own brand or cosmetics. And as you probably can imagine, I was like, woohoo, brilliant. So I was really, I'm very indecisive. I didn't know what to spend it on. And I went in yesterday to go buy one thing. And they told me that I had to spend the £50 all in one go. So I was a bit like, oh, I haven't decided what to get. And I had a little look around and I ended up just spending it all in one go because I thought, why not? So let me show you. The reason why I went in, and this is probably my favourite buy from the whole look, I decided that originally I was going to buy stuff that I needed, but then I thought that was a bit boring, and, and I decided to treat myself with one of the YSL Rouge Vulture lipsticks. I already have one of these in the colour Nude Beige, which is more of like a pinky colour, which I got from Feel Unique about, no, it was about September, when it was on offer. 
but I've seen a lot of talk about these on other blogs, I know they did some really nice peachy shades and I decided that I wanted a proper peachy coloured lipstick. I have my Topshop Koi lipstick but it's very matte, it's very drying and I also have MAC Shy Girl which is more of a nude and I decided I wanted a proper peach one to take on holiday with me and this is the one that I decided to go for. Now it wasn't the one that I originally wanted, I wanted the, I think it's number 30 and it's called Faux Bog Peach or something. I did try it on, they were sold out and to be honest as lovely as it was and I still love it, it looks very similar to Topshop Koi and I thought if I'm going to buy one I want to buy something that's a little bit different to what I've already got. So I got number 13 and this is called Peach Passion. I have it on my lips right now, if you can see it. It's kind, oh damn it said it again, it's a peachy corally pink colour, I really love it. I haven't got any of a lipstick like this, it's a little bit brighter than what I normally wear but I think it's still kind of subtle at the same time, it's going to look great with a tan. The sales assistant was like, you should wear bright colours, you've got this skin tone for it and I was like, I would love to but I wouldn't wear them in the day. So this is it, this is what it looks like, it's absolutely beautiful, I just think the packaging is just divine, it's, it's a real luxury and I, it's £23.50 or £22.50 which is an obscene amount for a lipstick and I would never go out to Debenhams and buy this off my own back, I could never justify spending that much on a lipstick so I thought to myself I have a voucher, I'm going to treat myself and every girl needs a bit of luxury in her life so talking of summer they also had an offer on yesterday, I don't know if it was just yesterday or they got it on at the moment, 25% off swimwear. Um, you all know that I'm going on holiday in about a month's time to America and I always have to have new bikinis to go on holiday with, it's like my little tradition and I promised my boyfriend because I have loads of bikinis I wasn't going to buy too many this year, in fact I told him I was only going to buy the one but this is my third one but I got with a voucher so it doesn't count and they had the floozy which is the frost french which I think is Sadie Frost, I think she like helped design these they were all 25% off and there were some absolutely gorgeous designs um, so the one that I picked for was this one it's navy, it's got ruffles it's really cute, it's floral and then here are the pants so yeah I thought that was really cute again it's something, they're more of the pricey side of bikinis and I wouldn't have gone out and bought them just random because I think that full price is £30 and I got it for £23 with the discount which I think is quite a lot of money for a bikini because it's essentially a pants and bra that you wear around the pool so yeah I got that, it was again a little bit of a treat for myself um, and I know that I'll feel really nice wearing it on holiday and then the final thing that I spent my voucher on was this and I've not heard anything about these, they just caught my eye and it's the Burt Bees Natural 100% Tiger Lily Tinted Lip Balm and this is the colour Tiger Lily and it's a really gorgeous peach colour show you that. that's it, it's kind of a bit brighter in real life but that's it there's not much can you see that like there it's more of like a tinted lip balm but I've never really seen a lip balm that also is good for your lips and tinted peach so I thought again this will be great for just throwing in my bag um, for going on a holiday with so yeah, I thought that was really nice and I thought it's great that it's also tinted peach. So that's my little mini Debenhams Primal Court. It's actually taken longer than I thought it would. I have the tendency to just waffle on. Um, so yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that. If you've got any requests for any other videos, then please let me know down below. I have got a list of videos up on my head to film, but if you have any other requests, then please, please let me know. Apart from that... Thank you for all watching, hopefully I've not said kind of slash kind of too much, it's been really hard to not say it, it's so hard like trying not to say something because it makes you want to say it more, so apologies about that, I, again I don't mean to say it, so sorry if it annoys you. Um, yeah, thank you for all watching, have a brilliant day and I'll see you soon, bye!